Hey, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to answer a question that I see come in quite often, and a lot of people seem to ask, you know, what type of knot should you be using to attach to your lures based on the type of lure that you're using? So in reality, it's not so much the type of lure that you're using, it's more, you know, what type of presentation are you trying to go for with the lure that you're using. So there are really two main knots that I like to use with artificial lures. Number one is going to be a trilene knot, which is essentially like a clinch knot. You know, it's a knot that is snug to the eye of the hook or the jig head. That's gonna be one choice that I like to use and I'll explain when I like to use that here in a second. And then number two is going to be a loop knot. Now a loop knot is going to be very ideal for certain types of lures that have more of an erratic motion. So I'm gonna talk about that as well. And this loop knot here, this is called the non-slip loop knot. And if you're trying to figure out how to tie both of these knots, we'll have some links down below that show some tutorials on how to do so. So the four lures that I have right here, we do sell all these on our shop page. So if you are interested, you can go over to fishstrong.com and pick some up. And if you're one of our insider members, keep in mind you do get up to 20% off everything on the shop page. So just going through these lures, these are basically your standard, you know, go-to inshore lures. I have a topwater uh, walk the dog style lure right here. This is called the Moonwalker. This is one of our lures here at Salt Strong. Then you will have your paddle tail style lures that have that paddle on the back end. Then you're going to have some stick bait types of lures. This is a jerk shad. This is a five inch jerk shad. This is our Alabama leprechaun, the jerk shad. And then the next type of what I like to call a stick type of bait is going to be a shrimp lure such as our power prawn. So lures that have more of an erratic motion. If you're going for more of an erratic retrieve, which can be very you know, effective for ambush predators like snook, trout, uh, also flounder, tarpon, that can be a really good way to get them to strike with more of an erratic retrieve. That's when you're gonna want to go with a loop knot because what the loop knot does is it's a, it, it basically allows the lure more freedom of motion because that knot is not snug to the eye of the hook. So your line is free to move on the eye of that hook. So some of my top lures to use a loop knot with is going to be these sticks uh, style types of baits, you know, shrimp imitations or jerk shads, and also topwater lures that have a side to side darting motion because they need that freedom of movement to get an effective darting motion. Now, some top waters will actually come with a split ring on there. If you don't want to take the split ring off, you can actually tie, you know, a snug knot to that split ring because the split ring pretty much acts like the loop knot. However, I like to remove any split rings from my lures and just use a loop knot because with split rings, you know, you have more of a chance of that line getting caught in the split ring or the split ring will break or rust out or, you know, the line may get cut by the ends of the split ring that can be pretty sharp. So I just do away with split rings and like to go with a loop knot on lures that originally come with split rings attached. Now, as far as the trilene knot goes or a knot that is snug to the eye of the hook, I prefer to use this type of knot if I really don't need a lot of darting action. You know, sometimes a fish can be pretty finicky and they don't want that really erratic retrieve. So when I'm using paddle tails and doing just like a straight steady retrieve that can be more effective or if I'm jigging lures off of the bottom, you know, just a straight up and down, this can be more effective, more useful. But when it comes down to it, you can really get away with using a loop knot pretty much for all lures. I've almost uh, made this knot exclusive for all the lures I use, whether it's a topwater, a paddle tail, a jerk shad, a shrimp lure, whatever it may be, just because it doesn't hurt to have that extra wiggle and you know freedom of movement using that loop knot. So hopefully this video can help you out if you are trying to figure out you know which type of knot to use with which type of lure. Again, it really comes more down to how does that lure react in the water? Does it have more of a darting motion or is it more of a straight type of retrieve? That will determine which knot I like to use. But again, when it comes down to it, 
I would be just fine using a loop knot with pretty much any type of artificial lure just because it does add that, you know, has that added advantage of having more freedom of motion when that lure is tied on. And remember, if you are interested in any of these lures that I just showed you here, in addition to many of other lures and tackle rods, reels, and equipment, definitely be sure to check out our shop page at fishstrong.com. And if you are one of our Insider members, keep in mind you do get up to 20% off everything on the shop page, so be sure to take advantage of that. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.